Hi, all. There have been some questions about um, how to play a ballad and a, a video I made on it, um, if you could see me now. And I think the first step to playing a ballad is to get the idea that you need to mix the grid of the of triplets and sixteenths really accurately and really well creatively obviously but mostly accurately so I'll try and demonstrate it so the first thing I'm going to do is turn the metronome on because it's the truth machine and make sure it doesn't speed up because sometimes it does my old metronome I figure if you can make this thing sound good then uh, you're probably playing pr pretty good time so I want to just talk about triplets first. So once I get that feeling right, I should try to mix in 16th notes. But first I got to get those feeling right. See, if I can feel those and, and be able to go seamlessly between them as accurately as possible, then I can start thinking about how I might do this on the piano. So, obviously, if you group four sixteenths into two groups, that's even eighth notes. triplet. I play sixteenths and end with a triplet, you think I'm still playing a ballad. And the other thing is I'm not playing sixteenth notes as if they're double time eighth notes, as this is a demonstration of that. As soon as I do that, you feel this tempo. Ding, -ga ding, ding, -ga ding, ding. We don't want that unless we do want it. But for starters, just playing this idea of even triplets of and even sixteenths and tying them together in rests is all I'm gonna do. And mostly I'm trying to get accuracy. So I have to listen really carefully. note line going into a triplet and not finishing the triplet on a downbeat it makes it feel really loose so here's I'll do a bar of uh, two beats of triplets well, that's double time triplet
double time. As soon as I do that, people stop hearing the ballad, they feel, which is a great thing to do. But so that's back to the 16th. Imagine I double, if I quadruple time, do ba da ba da ba ba da That was rushed. I'm rushing. 